I'm Yasmin Anen with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. The Royal Court announced today that the Tunisian President Bejid Qaeda Sebsi will be arriving in Bahrain tomorrow on an official visit, during which he will hold talks with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the brotherly deep rooted relations between the two countries and peoples, in addition to regional and international issues. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudaybiya Palace a number of cultural, media, religious and intellectual figures and scores of citizens. His Royal Highness expressed pride in Bahraini people in their efforts and contributions to enhance progress and productivity in Bahrain. He affirmed the government's keenness to provide a motivational atmosphere that helps Bahrainis show more creativity. He lauded the role of concerned bodies for supporting the government in creating a suitable working environment that aims to enhance productivity. He stressed the importance of supporting national expertise, loading the role of medical cadres that achieve success in various medical fields and affirmed the government's keenness to support national expertise. He also affirmed the government's keenness to provide high levels of services and qualities to meet the needs of the people. The Premier added that the challenges faced by the country, especially the economic ones, require further unity and cooperation to achieve progress. He stressed the importance of communication in order to enhance unity and overcome all challenges. He expressed pride in Bahraini women in contribution to the prosperity of Bahrain and hailed their role in highlighting the civilized image of Bahrain in regional and international events. His Royal Highness loaded the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and their keenness to meet the aspiration of citizens and maintain the stability of the kingdom. He also loaded the role of writers and journalists in conveying the aspiration of the people of Bahrain and their role in protecting the security and stability of Bahrain through the right of news and articles.
The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his majlis in Rafah a member of the Executive Committee of the International Wrestling Association, chairman of the African Association and president of the Royal Wrestling Federation of Morocco, Fouad Al Maskout, and the advisor of the IWA Didier Favri in the attendance of Bahrain Olympic Committee General Secretary Abdurrahman Askar, president of Bahrain Self-Defense Federation, Ahmed Ablaziz Al Khayat, and the director of the wrestling game at the Bahrain Self-Defense Federation, Mohamed Al Mansouri. His Highness thanked the members of the IWA for being awarded with a medal in recognition of his remarkable efforts in developing the Bahraini sports. He affirmed that Arab countries have succeeded in gaining international recognition in wrestling and MMA, and in particular North African countries. He also discussed means to further develop the Bahraini wrestling sport on both Arab and international levels in order to bring more gains to the kingdom. His Highness hailed the brotherly consolidated ties between Bahrain and Morocco and commended the tremendous efforts exerted by the President of Bahrain Self-Defense Federation in developing this field. His Highness was then honored by Mr. Fouel El Maskout. His Highness Sheikh Khaled is the fifth person being awarded with the honorary golden medal by the IWA, which was awarded to the presidents of Russia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan and Hungary in recognition for their keen interest to develop of the MMA and self-defense sports. Under the auspices of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid al Zaid, the opening of the 2016 Autumn Fair took place under Acting CEO of Bahrain Authority for Tourism and Exhibitions, Sheikh Khaled bin Hamoud al Khalifa. Sarah Burik reports. The Autumn Fair is Bahrain's largest consumer market of the year, with this year over 800 exhibitors from 25 countries showcasing their products starting today until the 4th of February. An increase of the number of visitors is expected this year over that of last year in correspondence in the increase of exhibiting merchants. We are very proud to see uh, a fair at this uh, momentum and caliber as well. Uh, it's just something uh, local, something that uh, uh, local exhibitors are there and international exhibitors as well. Uh, we had uh, 45,000 uh, visitors last year. We look at uh, an increase of 10% this year. Uh, the, the exhibition has been going for 25 years and we look forward for a more sustainable uh, event. Although the increased success of the fair in Bahrain has proven itself over the years, there still is an element missing, that is the Bahraini merchants and their products. The autumn exhibition has become part of our tradition for many years and it, it's visited by many people from various sectors of the community. We are proud of what has been achieved and there are 700 exhibitors so that must be a good sign. I think that we, we would like to see more, more, more involvement by more Bahrain businesses. At the moment there are many foreign companies which, which, uh, which represent a, a challenge to the Bahrainis. And the Bahraini merchants are complaining sometimes about this, this, uh, this competition. But I feel that uh, it, is, it is a good time for the Bahrainis to sharpen their pencils and get, get, uh, get involved with these things. It's a free economy and we want to encourage people to think in that direction. But we want more cooperation with the government and we hope it will be achieved. This is Sarah Break for Bahrain 55. And now we turn to business news with you, Danielle. Thanks very much, Yasmina. A very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,155.73 points, an increase of 5.35 points above yesterday's closing level. 
The rise was led by the commercial bank sector, which was also the most traded in, at 91% of total share value traded. In total, there were 24 transactions today, comprising 215,491 shares, worth 75,087 Bahraini dinars.